guys i am shashidhar and uh, this video is about assignment problem using hungarian method okay so uh, this has uh, some set of instructions which we need to follow to solve the problem and this is a bit uh, lengthy but if you remember the steps uh, it would be quite easy for you to uh, solve this problem so this process mainly has two phases the phase one is uh, row and column reduction and phase two is optimization and phase two has several steps in it so uh, let's uh, just see what's uh, operate uh, uh, assignment problem so this is a sample question here um, these are the jobs and uh, these are the operators so we need to assign uh, jobs to the operators hmm so uh, first thing we need to check is that if it is uh, balanced or not how do we check if it is balanced or, or not the number of rows should be equal to the number of columns so here we have five rows and five columns so the uh, rows are uh, sorry the matrix is balanced so we can proceed further if at all uh, this was not balanced suppose uh, we had uh, four rows and five columns then we would simply add a fifth row and uh, put all these uh, values as uh, zeros okay just for our convenience sake to uh, fulfill that those steps so the um, phase 1 so in phase 1 what did we do was uh row and column reduction so first thing row reduction so step 1 in phase 1 is row reduction right so uh, here what we do is uh, we iterate through each row and we will find the uh, minimum in that row okay so suppose we have uh, this first row so in this first row which is the minimum element we have 7 so highlight 7 uh, here write row minima right so minimum is 7 uh, here in the second row the minimum is 6 uh, in third row we have the minimum as 6 uh, in fourth row the minimum is 9 and the fifth row we have minimum as 7 uh, fine now what we will do is we will subtract uh, this minimum from all the elements in this row and this gives us a, a new uh, table so let's draw the new table so 9 minus 7 it's 2 so 9 minus uh, 7 it's 2 11 minus 7 it is uh, 4 14 minus 7 7 4 0 Zero nine seven seven four six seven zero two 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 zero one three zero zero five seven three seven. So uh, what I just did is we subtracted these uh, numbers from the corresponding row. Okay, then uh, we got this new table, right? now what we will do is we will find column uh, we will do column re uh, reduction so step 2 uh, in phase 1 is column reduction so what we will do is we will find the column minima so we will iterate through all these columns and we will find that which element is the least fine so column minima the least one in this row is 0 so we'll write a 0 uh, here also 0 here also 0 here it is 2 so we'll write 2 here it is 0 fine now uh, we will again subtract these uh, column minimas from uh, corresponding columns and again draw a new table so this is the table we obtained from column minima so what i just did was uh, here we had a uh, uh, column minima is 00020 so i subtracted 2 from this particular column and uh, wrote this table again so our first phase is over now we will move to phase 2 which is nothing but phase 2 is optimization okay so here what we'll do is uh, draw minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros in the matrix 
so to do this we again have two steps what are those row scanning and column scanning so first we will go with row scanning okay um, always we will first go with row scanning so what do we do in row scanning uh, we will iterate through the uh, row uh, iterate through the table row wise and uh, we will check that uh, if there is only one zero present in that particular row if there is only one zero present in that particular row we will put that in a square box and uh, strike off that whole column we will draw a vertical line okay so uh, see we have uh, one zero in this particular row so we highlighted this and we will strike off this column then in the second row you have this uh, zero you will strike off this uh, column then in third row see you have two zeros here so um, if we have two zeros in a uh, same row then we will ignore this row and skip this row and move to second uh, next row in next row uh, you see this this zero is cut off with this line therefore we can consider there is only one zero in this row so you will highlight this and again strike off this whole row then uh, in this row you don't have any zeros undeleted zeros you don't have any okay so this was uh, column scanning sorry uh, this was row scanning okay so uh, if all the zeros are cut off then we will move to step 2 but you are uh, if you are left with uh, some zeros in it you will go for column scanning so what's column scanning in uh, column scanning uh, you will iterate column wise and uh, check for the zeros and strike off horizontally okay so first uh, i'll go with this column we don't have any zeros here second column we don't have any zeros here undeleted zeros and in this uh, third uh, column you have this one undeleted zero you will highlight put this in a square and strike off this uh, whole row and now in this column you don't have a zero undeleted zero and uh, this row also uh, this column also you don't have any undeleted zero so the next step which is step two is check if the number of square marked zeros is equal to the number of rows of the matrix okay let's check so uh, what this step uh, says is count the number of squares okay one two three and four and uh, compare this with the number of rows or number of columns it is a square matrix so it doesn't matter so we have five uh, rows and four uh, square marked zeros but uh, 4 is not equal to 5 so what do we do we will uh, we will go to step 3 if at all uh, this uh, square number of squares and the number of rows was equal we would go to step 5 which is nothing but uh, optimal solution is reached but uh, 4 is not equal to 5 then we will go to step 3 so uh, we have now moved to step 3 because this 4 is not equal to 5 so what does this step 3 say step 3 says that look for the least value in that particular matrix okay so let's uh, look for the least value uh, the least value which is undeleted in that in this matrix is 1 so we have the least uh, value as 1 now next what does it say it says that add the minimum value which for which you found to the intersection points of the present matrix so what does this mean uh, this this is a horizontal vertical line this is a horizontal line it intersect here so this is one intersection point this is another intersection point and this is another intersection point so uh, the minimum value we found in the matrix was one you will add this one here here and here and uh, you will subtract this one from here 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 so that means the you will add that uh, minimum value to the intersection points and you will subtract that uh, minimum value from the undeleted elements so let's draw uh, and uh, the other uh, values remain same uh, what do i mean by other values is this uh, 0 4 0 7 these values will remain same so let's draw the table right Uh, 
ओके सो फर्स्ट थिंग यू राइट द रिमेनिंग वैल्यूज एज सेम ओके सो टू फोर जीरो फोर नाइन जीरो या एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू हाईलाइट ऑल्सो हाईलाइट द ओके हाईलाइट इट देन टू जीरो जीरो फाइव टू जीरो सेवन जीरो जीरो ओके नाउ वॉट वॉज आर फर्स्ट स्टेप एड दैट मिनिमम वैल्यू टू द इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट सो दिस सिक्स बिकम्स सेवन दिस सेवन बिकम्स एट दिस टू बिकम्स थ्री एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट द मिनिमम वैल्यू फ्रॉम दिस अनडिलीट अनडिलीटेड वैल्यूज सो दिस बिकम्स सिक्स वन सिक्स फोर जीरो जीरो सेवन सॉरी सिक्स एंड जीरो so uh, we subtracted uh, the minimum value from the undeleted cells and added the minimum value to the intersection points now the next step is step 4 step 4 is go to step 1 and uh, what was our step 1 our step 1 was uh, row scanning and uh, column scanning so let's do this uh, first i'll go with row scanning so i scanned this row and uh, i found this one zero so this strike this then in this row we have only one zero strike this um uh, and uh, in this row you have two zeros so ignore this one in this uh, you have three zeros ignore this one in this row you have one zero and the other is striked off so doesn't consider it that means you have only one zero so strike this column off now you we will uh, iterate column wise so column wise we don't find any zero here so in this column you found this zero cut this off uh, in this column there is only one zero this is already strike off so we don't consider this so this one draw a horizontal line now uh highlight okay yeah and here i forgot to put a square okay because uh, in this column uh, sorry in this row scanning we found this one and we strike off this way so after that you will put a square here now count uh, the number of squares here 1 2 3 4 and 5 so the number of squares is equal to the number of rows or columns 5 therefore it is optimized and uh, now wait still it's not uh, over yet so our job is not done yet job operator okay so uh, what we will do is we will compare uh, you, we will look these squares okay first write jobs 1 2 3 4 uh, this whole uh, problem is nothing but uh, you have to assign job to any operator okay uh, so that uh, and the time should also be minimum okay the job should be assigned to operator in such a way that it's it's completed in the least possible time fine so look at the table for job 1 where do you find the square you will find the square at 5 so 5 for job 2 you find the square at 1 1 job 3 you find the square at 3 so 3 for job 4 you find the square at 2 so it's 2 and job 5 you find the square at 4 so it's 4 and uh, still we are not done uh, this is the last step time to calculate this time you need to look into the you need to look into the original table so the original table was this okay so wait so what did we write here uh, job 1 has operator uh, job 1 is assigned to operator 5 so job 1 is assigned to operator 5 and uh, here you find the number 7 so in time you will write 7 and uh, job 2 is assigned to operator 1 job 2 is op assigned to operator 1 so 6 so he completes in time 6 units job 3 is assigned to operator 3 so operator 3 it's 6 so 6 job 4 is assigned to operator 2 9 
and job 5 is assigned to operator 4 5 is assigned to operator 4 which is nothing but 10 so this is our final answer and we are done with assignment problem using hungarian method i hope you understood this problem if you have any doubts do put them in the comment section and uh, do like share and subscribe to works after college